Hi there. I'm going to do a quick video uh, just showing you how to spot tune your own piano at home. Uh, if, like me, you're in a lockdown situation thanks to the coronavirus, um, probably not easy to get a piano tuner in at the moment. Um, I'm obviously not going to try and tune the whole piano back up to uh, concert pitch, but there are a few notes here that have slipped out of tune a little bit more than the others, so, uh, so they're a little obvious and they stand out. Uh, to a pianist anyway. So I'm going to show you with the help of a couple of fairly easy to get hold of uh, tools from online and an iPhone app how to spot tune your piano. So let's get started here. This is my uh, Yamaha U3, uh, U3H piano which is a great piano uh, built originally in 1973 but has been fully refurbished by Yamaha. Now this piano hasn't actually been in this location for particularly long and it has not had its first uh, proper tuning since it was put in the location so it has started as you would expect to settle into the environment, the temperature and the humidity of this room and the wood has settled and it started to go out of tune. Now in some, for some notes uh, they've gone more out of tune than others and we're going to spot tune uh, one note in particular uh, here today, which is this uh, C sharp five note, uh, which is more out of tune than the others. So um, I've done a few spot checks, and on the whole, on average, uh, the piano's dropped about 10 cents uh, in terms of its overall tune against a uh, concert pitch. And um, some of the notes have dropped more than that. So we're going to use uh, our ears and we're also going to use this iPhone app called Piano Tuner uh, to bring this C5 not back into um, full tune, but back into the same offset as the rest uh, of the keys here. So it doesn't sound quite so out of place. Um, so that's the... C5, if I play it against C4, hopefully you will be able to hear it beating a little bit. Now if we use the uh, Piano Tuner app here to test that, so let's look at the, it's currently set for note C4 um, and zero, the green uh, zero in the middle there, uh, indicates that we are bang on tune. And you'll see that C4 note is coming in at about minus 12 cents. Now if I adjust the app here to give us C sharp 5, C sharp 5, and we go ahead and hit C sharp 5. See that's coming in at about minus 24, so uh, almost double. Um, well, pretty much double, uh, minus 12 to minus 24, double in my books, um, in comparison with C4. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use our tools. So the main tools that we need are a uh, tuning hammer, um, tuning lever or lever, uh, but a proper piano tuner is going to call this a tuning hammer. Um, this one's a Koenig & Meyer, um, available online, um, not inexpensive, there are much cheaper ones, uh, but the nice thing about the Koenig & Meyer is uh, it has a, has a, a longer uh, handle than a lot of the others, so you have a bit more leverage, and it has interchangeable heads, so you can unscrew this head and you have a couple of different, it comes with three different size heads. Uh, for matching up to the, uh, the, the pins on your piano there. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the C, C5 note there has three strings and we need to tune each of those separately. So we're going to start from the left and that means we need to use the rubber dampers here to basically damp, dampen, and out, dampen out the uh, middle and the far right string. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this damper between 
the middle and string on the far right. Uh, we will look at our app, we'll get our tuning hammer set up on that top uh, far left string. Oops. Okay, minus 20. Now, that has actually gone up to zero, um, which is was, would be great if we were actually bringing this piano back into its full tuning, but we're not, so I'm going to knock that back a bit and try and get it around that minus 12 mark, so we're kind of in the same place. There we are. Minus 12, just a touch there. Yep, that looks good. So that's the first string, and then we will we'll have to put two of these uh, wedges in here now to get the middle string and you just need to play around with these and find the best combination uh, to dampen out those strings. Okay, that looks good. Let's remove our dampers and try that. Perfect. Perfect according to the meter, minus 12. So let's use our ears now. So. Ah. That's got rid of the beating. to spot tune your piano at home on your own give it a try